to continue with the lessons on practical in MS Excel spreadsheet. What we are going to do here is to learn some more features. What are the new features that we are going to see? They are use of formula and function. Now what formula was? It was with the use of the operators that you could perform certain calculations. Now additional to that we also have been given the feature of formula and function. Now this function is an extra thing. It has got very helpful quite a few functions that are even categorized. So as with more and more knowledge we will learn about these categories. Now in to start with suppose I take this example. In this example we have got some bank names and the number of uh, ATMs it has got in the various cities of the country. Okay. Now uh, the first thing here is you need to have some data to work on. Otherwise what will you add? You have to have matter to add isn't it? So these numbers are uh, representing how many ATMs. These are not exact numbers. These are just rough numbers taken for calculation purpose. Okay. Now I can find the total of how many ATMs of various banks are present in each of the cities. That means here I will have to do this addition. Now this addition thing was taught to you. In my previous video I had shown that how can you perform this addition of cell after cell. Now this was uh, click on the cell then press plus then click on the cell or write the cell number and then press enter. Now this is the uh, simple most way of performing addition. Right. Now next way the other way of doing the same work I am going to show now that is writing this function. Now this function is present inside these function library. I don't I know the name of it so I am telling you so that you can do it fast and after writing the name what you can do is you can double click and select which are the cells which you would like to add right. Now you can make this selection. There is a colon in between as a separator of B4 up to B8 you see. This is cell number B4 and this is cell number B8. I close the bracket and I press enter. Do you see the same number? Yes. You may even pause the video and go back a few seconds and check. This sum is actually doing the addition of all these cells. So I don't have to write cell by cell one by one all the names. Right. Now this formula can be a formula for this one also. So I can write sum and I can write C4 and then colon and then C8 and then close the bracket and press enter. You see what has come here is the sum of C4 to C8. If you double click here you will see the source from where the numbers have come will also appear. I also have the benefit of copying it and pasting it by source and then enter. They also will get the corresponding active formula. Right. Is it okay with you? Now you see this one has got some of these numbers. This is also called relative cell addressing. When the formula is getting copied, the formula is changing itself depending on which is the corresponding cell important for this work. Then is another uh, function which is called average. Average is also available as a function. So you can write average and then you can again select which are the cells whose average you will want as if you know what is the average number of whichever banks ATMs are. So it can be average of B4 to B8 right if I press enter this is the average number of the bank's ATMs. I can even copy it and I can even paste it. Then the next is an interesting one. This is called max. 
Max stands for maximum. Maximum means what is the maximum number whose average, uh, whose value is present in this. So which is the maximum number? The maximum number is 1548. And in the same way, I can also find the minimum. What is the minimum number of B42? B8. Let us check. If I press enter, will you see the smallest? Yes, that is the smallest. And do you know if I perform any change in any of the data? Suppose this is for any reason modified to 511, then you will see the result area will also have modification. Check it out. Only the maximum did not change, but rest all of them changed. Did you notice? You should have noticed that. Now I can copy this one and this one. I can copy both of them also. Control C I am choosing for copying. And if I select the destination and if I press enter, you will find the formula has got copied. If you double click here, you will see that the range is whatever I gave as the range. When I give the range, I gave the range in the first and then I copied that into the other cells. Okay. So in this way, source and destination is done. Now, this part also is going to contain similar action like total of State Bank of India across four cities, average number of uh, ATMs in each city and that for all the four. Now, this I am going to leave for you to do. Okay.